everybody and welcome back to Better Minecraft Plus. The Ring of the Seven Curses. I said it right this time, yes! I said it right. Um, oh, I guess I've been kind of accidentally showing off what I did. Um, I did a couple things off camera. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, I guess, maybe? Um, I built a structure for all of our uh, create needs. Um, and I also found a thing uh, to make a, what I would do as like a generator, I guess. Um, I can explain that later, but we have our own little press machine here. I also have these platforms. These are going to be for our crops. So I'm moving all that stuff over to here, but also making it automated. That's right. Uh, so using Create, we're going to make these three platforms completely automated machines. Um, as well as we're going to uh, start messing with making an auto uh, wood farm. And that's going to be amazing because I really want to get into that. But first things first, I want to get something done, which is very important. Um, and I'd like to show you guys where we'll be putting it. And you'll be like, oh, in here? No, no, no. What's this button, you may ask? What is this? Well, I will show you. Click. Oh, it is an elevator. Look at that! I made an elevator! Um, very simple. If you guys would like, I could show you uh, how I did and what I, how, what I did to it. Um, that is hooked up to the windmill. Um, so it is using that to bring us down into this room here. Um, and it does go all the way back up. Um, this is our big old room. Um, I'll light it up a little bit more. Boop. Our big old room uh, for all of our create needs. Um, and it's going to be quite nice. Um, other thing too is that going into here, this is the mine that we made. Um, if we just walk right over here, oh look, another portal and the ladder upstairs. Um, so that's that's what that is. Um, <clears throat> but very easy access to all this. Um, that's a part of the elevator. Uh, but yeah, this is the room we're going to be working in today. Um, very excited, very excited. Um, is it raining? It is raining outside. I don't like when it rains. Ah! Anywho, um, we are going to be making an ore processor um, with the Create Mod. Uh, we're going to be processing ores and everything using this. I have been wanting to do this for a while now, um, just because it'll like double, almost quadruple uh, our ores, at least triple. Triple to quadruple our ores, um, and it, oh, it's gonna be so great. Um, and we have a lot to do with it, as you can see. A lot of things that are be going into this. Um, we have brass funnels, uh, mechanical belts, vertical gear boxes, regular gear boxes, um, some encased fans. That's gonna be really nice. Uh, more another mechanical press, a basin, another depot, and then some chutes as well as some filters. Um, we're also going to need our crushing wheel, which I almost forgot. So, crushing wheels. Awesome. We got these. These are very important. Um, now, to get this started, cobblestone, magma blocks, and the encased fans. Oh, we are going to need... Where's my sticks? Sticks, 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 sticks. There we go. And... I'm going to say like four levers. We're going to need a couple of them. There we go. Uh, so with this, the way this is going to work, um, and if I can remember, I'm also using a video on this. I can link the video that I referenced in the description. Uh, it was Rocket14 uh, made this design. I kind of tweaked it just slightly just to make it a tiny bit more compact, um, but the, almost the entire design is something that uh, they have made. So I am using that uh, to kind of help build this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm raising these up. So putting a magma block here, and then it is a cased fan there. That is not what I wanted, sorry. Cased fan there. And you see this little arrow looking thing on here? You're going to want to point that down into the magma block. Do another cobblestone, um, another encased fan with a... I, yeah, uh, and then you're going to also mess with this. Perfect, just like that, aiming them both down, and then a lever, 
there. I should get them spinning. Yeah, they should. Here, I'll just... They are spinning. Perfect. Um, so now, with those spinning, uh, you're going to want to take the vertical gearboxes like this. Come on. Ah. Like that. You're going to take a regular gearbox here and a shaft there. Like that. And then you're going to want to take a crushing wheel and a crushing wheel. Bam! Just like that. Um, with those there, you're going to take a chute and put it to there just like that cool thing is with that too we can mine directly up which i'll do that now just to signify so mining directly up uh that'll show us the um upstairs and we can connect a chest right into this uh to make that pretty easy um so yeah all right and now you're gonna put a shoot on the bottom as well just below the other one um you're gonna take two chests one here one here and I need to remember if I'm doing this correctly. You have a brass funnel. So it was that one right there? Yes, brass funnel going that way. And wait a second. So uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take these, all your ores and everything, uh, go up to your the top. So that this is the chest that I cut to the top. Uh, little chute that's right there. I'm going to put lead ore, limestone, iron ore, uh, the platinum ore, zinc, uh, rock copper. Um, we do, we need gold because what is it? We need, we need to do cobalt. I don't have any cobalt yet. Um, brass. I don't know if we could do brass because there's no brass ore, um, but you do have the copper. We need gold. So I have to go find some gold. Uh, iron, lead, platinum, I need silver, and zinc, so I got most everything, I don't have gold, and then I can't do silver unless, hmm, yeah, no, I tried doing the darker depths on my testing, and the darker depths, uh, silver ore does not get crushed, um, just gonna crush silver, uh, the actual, or block does get crushed, but not the little chunk piece. Uh, so that's fine. Um, we'll leave it like this. Um, we'll find some gold later and we can always edit the filter. So with that going, basically it goes into the chute and then down into the actual uh, machine. Um, what was that? Oh, that was a zombie. Oh, Jesus. Zombie Piglin scared me, man. Scared me. Cool. Ah, no. What are you doing? How are you here? Be gone. Gold. That's not going to help us. Um, we need gold ore. Anyways, um, so with these, the crushed ore that we have, because, right, we don't have, we have those, we just don't have the gold and the silver. Where's the crust? Ah, oh, the iron does that. That ore doesn't work for the iron, if I am correct, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, that that one doesn't work. Of course, that one doesn't work. So we're gonna go back up, and we're just gonna grab a normal, normal iron ore. We are then going to put that ore back in the chest. It's going to go down. We will meet it down there. Cool. Hey, there it is. So now we have the crushed iron ore. Now, with all of these, you're going to want to take your filter. And you're just going to want to... Uh, shift click like shift left click on all of them and it copies them up to here doesn't spend them doesn't waste them or anything but does copy them up to here now like i said we do need to get a gold one 
and we need to get a silver one to actually fully get this filter going. But for right now, that'll work. So with this one filter, actually on both, that's fine. You can always redo it. With this filter, eh, did it? Nope, okay, hold on. We gotta actually build ourselves up there. I'm gonna put these away. This little filter thing, little square right here, and you click on it with the filter in hand. Come on. There you go. Awesome. With filter in hand, now, they see what that's going to do. Sometimes when you crush things, cobblestone will come out, um, and it'll get placed in the chest. So you don't want that running through our system, or else it'll clog everything up. So basically, that filter allows it so that only those crushed ores or only the crushed ores that we allow will go through here and into the rest of the system, whereas the cobblestone will probably get stuck in here, but we'll switch it around so that it'll go back into the system um, just to make it a little bit easier on us. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do too now is we need to take our depot, place that right underneath. So now when that stuff comes out, it'll go right into the depot. And we then need to make See, I got some slabs. You can go grab some water, which I could actually. I might keep this open so I can just walk out, grab some water, and then be done. Um, <laughs> so, with that water, I did not. Thank you. With that water, we're going to go up here. And, oh, if I can remember how to do this, it was. Was it that? No, 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 no. Was it? Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, yes, it was. Okay, just like that. And you're going to want to... I'm not going to do that. Something like this. Make a little, little chamber for it, just like that. And then you're going to want to have a fan, encased fan, here switch it around just like that so now it's aiming this way put your water in now your thing here your encased fan is not on currently it is not doing anything so what you need to do is have a magma block with a vertical gearbox so same thing as we did with these you're going to need to put a magma cube there or magma block there uh put this okay Put that encased fan there, aim it down, and then have a vertical gearbox, just like that. And then take a lever, click, and then we'll see here in just a minute. Just a second. Hey, it is now blowing water, spraying water into the depot where we'll have our crushed ores, and it'll then turn it into uh, nuggets. Now that's going to be where we're going to need to, ooh, I almost just messed that up. Um, that's going to be where we're going to need to turn those nuggets into their or ingots as well. Yeah, so now you're going to want to put another brass filter right there. Um, or not brass, uh, brass uh, funnel right there. Take some blocks, put a shaft here, and then I think it's a shaft there. Take a mechanical belt, connect them, bam. Just changes it up just a little bit. After that, you're gonna wanna put another brass funnel here, as well as two more shafts there uh, with another mechanical belt, just like that. Take your wrench, click on that, fill, that uh, funnel, and it'll bring it out just a little bit and that's where you're going to put your basin right there. Um, yes, I think that's that should be how we did it last time. Actually, I apologize. It is don't put that one there. You're going to want to put it right there and then connect it. There you go. You want to move it over just a little bit. Just a smidge. Um, just like that. And then take the wrench, connect it like that. Bam! Um, now we are going to need to make another filter, because um, you want to put a filter on that one for 
for nuggets. That way it's not going to just take everything and put it down. Um, but the other thing you could do, I guess, another way to do it is you already have this filter. If you want to do deny list instead, instead of the allow list, this will make us so all of these will be denied going through it. That way you don't have to go through and collect all the nuggets, um, which honestly, you know what? Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. So deny list. Um, and then we're going to put it right. Cause that, that stayed. Yep. So now click. So now it's on there. Awesome. Those will get put into here and then they will get moved over and then put into a chest. Um, after going through here, now you are also going to need to make a presser. Uh, yes, the mechanical press, because the mechanical press is going to have to go on top of this, just like that. You're going to put a vertical gearbox and you're also going to have to do the same thing as we've done three times before another generator, just like that with a lever put on the backside. Boom. Um, another thing too, you're also seeing these belts are not moving. So again, you're also going to have to make a couple more of those generators to get those to move as well. Um, uh, sticks. Nope, I have sticks. What am I thinking? I got sticks. I think two more, just in case, I think. So using those, the case fan, vertical gearboxes. Now, you're going to have to get both of these moving. So, let's see. I might be able to... Ooh, let me see if I can compact this a little bit. Alright, so I tried, I tried combining it, and it just, just wasn't working. So just make two of them. Use the lever, although that one is rotating incorrectly. Why is it doing that? Um, I may need, oh, I need to make another gearbox. Ah, yes, I need to make another gearbox. Ah. Gearboxes are pretty easy. Um, you'll need anisite alloy. Um, I'm gonna need more, more buttons too. I need to make more small gears. Eight of them like that. Making small cog wheels. Take, oh, oh sorry, it's four. Just like that. And an anisite casing makes a gearbox. So I just need one more because um, we got to move this one down one. Like this. Make. Uh, that one. Come on. Just like that. And then you're going to need an encased fan. Just like this. With... I wonder if I could do it this way. Can I just... Hey! Look at that. Awesome. So now we have both conveyors are moving forward. Just like that. Awesome. And I think too, that one's working as well, so that the press is working too. Alright, so now you're going to want to put two chests here, right on the other side of the basin, and you take another brass funnel. Oh, not going to let me do it. Just like that. Perfect. And that should be it. Should be. Should be. Um, for this part of it, and honestly, this took up a lot of space entire thing but I did give it just enough room um, awesome so now with all of that done we should be able to start throwing stuff into it um, but the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to get it connected to our system um, our system being our storage system now the way I'm going to do that is what was it it was the uh, network like this, we're gonna need a export cable. We need export cables, so we need a piston and network cables. And then we're also going to need a, f ooh, I wanna say, Filtered import cable. I think it's a. I think it's this one. The filtered import cable. Or no, 
Sorry, no, it should just be an import cable. Yes. Okay, so we need a piston and a hopper. Both of those. So I should have some iron. Yep. So we need that. Uh, that should be it for those two. And we're also going to need cable, some network cables. Using these, oh, I need to actually make these first. I need to make chests first. <laughs> there we go. Got the chest, got the hopper, and then we're gonna need redstone for the piston. It's that one, that there, cobblestone, wood, piston. Awesome, so we got that. Using the piston, we have the network cables. So now we have export cables. And we're gonna need a hopper, surrounded network cables again, and make some import cables. So now with those, I think we're also gonna wanna make a lot more network cables as well. Um, should have some stone, we have some iron. Actually, how many stone slabs? 78, that should be plain, we don't need that one. So now let's make some more of these cables. We're gonna need a lot of these cables because these are gonna be our main way of transporting things from now on. So with all of this here, we're gonna take our, let's see, import cable? No, sorry, export cable, export cable. Export cable is gonna go, do it, oops, here. And we're gonna place that there there and this is going to go down into the floor and it's going to go over to our uh storage system and i want to i need to make sure let's go let's go back upstairs that way we can find out where we need to link these two we need to bring them into here um by the way i made two more of these mega torches so now like you can see it lit there and another one there um, so now there's like this big square where like nothing spawns except for like passive mobs. But even then, I barely have any passive mobs that spawn in here. Um, I also did something that somebody put in the comments. Um, I apologize, I forgot who commented it, but thank you anyways. You know who you are. Thank you so much for the comment. Um, but I took away all the network cables or all the link cables and I used a drawer controller for the storage drawers. So basically this, anything you input into this um, will go into all of these drawers. So you only have to connect to this to these so you don't have to make all those link cables we made or all those network cables. Uh, like you only need three for this entire thing. Um, now, of course, if you wanna do what I'm doing and connect this up to our, the rest of our system, you're gonna need a lot more, but that's a story for another day. Um, so we're going to need to dig down that. I'm not worried about making this part pretty. I just, here, let's think, oh, can I, just like that. Is this going to go down into the cave? Oh, there it is. Awesome. So, do I want it going there? I'm thinking we go just above. Or just, just below the dirt right here. Right. So, we now have a cable that links all the way over to it. Um, the other thing that we're going to need, though, too, is to basically link this exact cable up to the top of it as well. Um, so, that's not going to be too difficult. Cause like I said, we already have this here, so we just gotta bring it over and link it up to the top chest over there. So I'm gonna try and go ahead and do that. Now connecting this chest, ooh, hold on, we may need to take those out or at least those back to maybe. Yeah, let's take those two out. 
Now for this chest, we're gonna connect the import cable. Using that import cable, then we can connect with the network cables. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. I need to switch these. I just realized, no! Well, that just got, cru that just got crushed. Um, probably never getting that back. Anyways, export cable. That's what we need. Export cable goes into here, and this is where we're going to filter in um, what goes in there. So, uh, let's see if I can find everything. So, we got copper. It's going to be a lot. Okay, so now we have all the ores that we have currently. Um, clicking on this, you're going to take whatever you have. So, copper. Oh, actually, I want to... Just one. Copper, one. One iron ore. One zinc. One lead. I'm going to do the other kind of copper. The ice and fire copper goes in there as well. And I think that should be it. Like I said, we don't have the... Uh, Oh, what was because all the stuff that we did have, at least for the crush, copper, iron, lead, platinum, platinum. Oh, where is my platinum? I know I had some platinum. There we go. There's our platinum. So using our platinum, I guess I didn't need to put everything in here because the whole point of this was to, uh, there you go, have everything go through the system into there. And it should be working. Maybe. I don't know what's in there right now, but it's doing something. Oh, that's right. It, it's probably going to take a while for it to do that. But hey, yeah, it is slowly putting all the copper into here. And it's going to slowly start going through the process of processing all of this um, into what we need it to be. Because right now, it's going to crush all the ores, turn it into the crushed version of that ore. It's then going to come out of this chest into onto this depot, which is then going to turn itself into, uh, get washed by the water and the fan, get turned into the nugget of whatever material that is, pulled out of this belt, uh, this funnel, down over into the basin with the press. The press is going to press down into it, turn it into the ingot, and then it's going to be pushed over into the chest and then going right back into our system. So yeah, and see, turn in some nuggets. So far it's working. Uh, did it do its thing? Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, cobblestone. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do it. It did not. It didn't press. Oh no. Um, because I forgot to put a filter. Right? Is there supposed to be a filter on this? I think there is. Ah, I made a major mistake. Oh no. Um, so major mistake, major mistake, major mistake. I need to dismantle all of this. <laughs> um Break this link. Break it. Okay, we need to stop it from pouring stuff into here. Take all this. Put it back into the system. Cool. So now, hopefully, it, it'll start to stop here soon. Um, yes, I made a very crucial mistake. Um, I need to... Let's see. I need to take apart... This... I have a picture of it. I was looking at it. Yes, that's right, because I didn't use as many as he did. This was this was a part of the uh, so-called. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, this 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 was the portion of the uh, so-called compacting it just a little bit. Need that and these. Okay, so right off the bat, we are going to. Use This here, 
Put that. Oh, oops. Hold on. We need one of our shafts. Connect it to there. Put that there. We're gonna take our wrench. Extend that one. A little bit extend. Oh, did it keep the filter? It did keep the filter, so the filter's good. So the filter's on there, and then now here is where we start making the press fan and the vertical thing. That there. So that goes there. Vertical press. Bam. Vertical gear. That there. That there. And then we grab a lever. Click. Click. Cool. So now that works. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now it's starting to press everything. Um, now with it pressing things. What was the next piece that I had? I should take a picture of it in the first place. That way this wouldn't have happened. Uh, now with it doing that. You put a shaft there, and this one has to go like three blocks to there. Yes. Connect, connect, and then it then goes with a chest like this. That needs to be taken. All of those need to be taken just like that. A brass funnel, just like that. And then that is almost it. We now need to get this track moving forward. So with that, take a vertical gearbox, a fan. Oh no, it is moving the other direction. We don't want it to be moving that direction. Boop. 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 Now it works. Perfect. There. Now it should be working. Yep. Now it is pulling everything out of here, putting it into here. Already got some copper going. I like how it's the ice and fire copper. All that copper is there, so it should be done. We're done. Um, we need to connect it to the system. And then it should keep moving forward. So that's there. Let's do not the export cable, import cable. Because so I got to think of it, we're importing into the system, not exporting out of here. We're importing it into the system. So it goes click just like that. And so now everything in here already exported. Um, and then network cables. Just like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so that should be good there. And then we need to connect that back up. And it should. Yep. Should start filling up with everything else. So we will. Oops, <laughs> take all of this out of the way. Bam. Awesome. Our full auto or fully autonomous or processing machine is done. Yay. Oh, this is great. Um, I do have a lot of platinum in my hand, so I do want to... Ah, I picked up all the copper. Ooh. Oh. Nope. Wait. Maybe. Should be able to put all that in there. Cool. That should move it over into this. It's going to take a while for all this stuff to fully get compressed down and everything. So I'm going to have to like leave it running for a little bit to fully get all or at least most of our ores processed. Um, but... Hey, it is now a fully auto. Uh, ooh, hold on. Ooh. Fully autonomous machine, ready to go. Um, it's still crushing everything. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, now that we have this going, though, it's the harvestman. Um, now that we have this going, 
we can get on to doing some more uh, create stuff. Um, I want to get some uh, automatic farms built uh, as far as automatic like wheat, carrots, potatoes, um, maybe some others, I don't know yet. Get those main three and then get an automated wood farm um, and get maybe three of them going because I want to get uh, oak wood, spruce wood, and um, birch wood at least. Those are the three main woods I want to get um, for now. And maybe in the future we can start getting farms for more. So getting those three main ones and then the three main foods. Um, then after that, I do have a thing that I want to implement into the, uh, the mob farm. Um, that way we can get a bunch more emeralds. Uh, there is a way that I want to implement that as well. But I love this. I love the create bot. It's so much fun. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to do with the create mod as well. Uh, one of those being um, like trains, uh, getting more elevators, getting like, oh, uh, what's it? There's, there's another one that I really wanted to mess with too. Um, that is right. It, is, it, is it fall already or is it winter? Because it was just snowing a while ago. I don't know. Um, but I want to get like gondolas and like, just all sorts of stuff like flying ships and like airships and all that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that I want to get done. Oh, hey, dried kelp. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it off here. I know it was probably a little bit of a boring episode, kind of. We got a full ore processor going though, so that's kind of cool. Um, with that getting done uh, and multiplying all of our resources, we should be able to get. Um, quite a few things going as far as where's my oak slabs sorry i'm getting distracted um we should be getting uh ready to get going on some exploring um i'm gonna try probably exploring the nether um we might go exploring the overworld too uh i may actually you know what i may build a enchantment room um soon as well we need to get an enchantment room going that way we can actually withstand um some mobs and uh, maybe dragons i want to go fight some dragons so that's probably a good thing that we want to do that too so like i said i'm gonna leave it off here if you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like down below as well as hit that subscribe button it's free you might as well do it smack it destroy it punch it everything you can and i will catch you all in the next one Bye bye